Hello and welcome to this Redbird Rundown special on the FCS National Championship. Our normal basketball show is going to take a one week hiatus so we can focus this episode entirely on the exploits of the Illinois State football team. I am Panagraphs Assistant Sports Editor Joe Deacon alongside beat writer Randy Reinhardt. Randy, it's been a remarkable season for Broxback's program and it culminates with the Redbird's first title game appearance Saturday in Frisco, Texas. Yes, uh, it's been, been quite a season. There's been a Christmas break, there's been New Year's Day, and the Redbirds have back to practice. Uh, I think everybody's ready to uh, get to Texas and get this game going. Yeah, after uh, they had an offensive onslaught in their quarterfinal win over Eastern Washington, and then in the semifinals, the Redbirds showed an ability to grind out a win after they scored 15 points in the fourth quarter to get past top-ranked uh, New Hampshire in those semifinals. Do you think the way they were able to pull that game out shows them the, some versatility and that it will help them in this title game? Yes, I, I think it does. Uh, the Redbirds went into that game with a lot of confidence that they could come through a tight fourth quarter and win, but being able to come come back from 12 points down in the fourth quarter against the number one ranked team on their own home field, if that doesn't boost your confidence even more, uh, nothing will. Yeah. So now the final obstacle is the three-time reigning champions from North Dakota State. The second ranked Bison shared the Missouri Valley Football Conference title with the Redbirds after the two didn't meet in the regular season. Uh, first year head coach Chris Kleiman has maintained the program's excellence. Uh, that was established under his predecessor, Craig Bull. NDSU has now extended a postseason winning streak to 15 games, and it's, it's safe to call the Bison the elite program at the FCS level, I would think, wouldn't you? Oh, without a doubt. Um, they've done it, as you said, for three straight years now. Uh, and it's not just winning that game for three straight years. It's been able to get there. That's, that's such, a, such a tough journey to make it to that championship game, and, and they've done it three straight years, and just their consistency and consistent excellence is, is just uh, amazing. Yeah, and these SU is coming off a 35-3 to win in their semifinal over Sam Houston State. They enter this game averaging just a touch over 33 points a game uh, behind the passing of junior quarterback Carson Wentz and running of senior John Crockett. Uh, what's it going to take the Redbirds to do on defense to, to kind of shut down this potent attack? Well, I think the Redbirds just need to hold up, first of all, at the line of scrimmage. Uh, this is not... Uh, a Bison offense that really kills you with a lot of big plays. Uh, they, they grind it out. They, they come at you with a very physical style of play. Uh, they're certainly capable of big plays, and Crockett has broken some long runs in the postseason, so he's certainly very capable of that. But it, they win their games by just simply wearing teams down and not making mistakes. They really offer very few openings for opposing teams to, to really get something done and they count on wearing you down. Yep. For the ISU offense, it's led by uh, quarterback Trey Roberson and tailback Marshawn Copperich. They're going to have to deal with a Bison defense. It's led by linebacker Carlton Littlejohn's 109 tackles, and defensive end Kyle Emanuel has 19 and a half sacks. So how are the Redbirds going to find success against this formidable front? Well, they'll, they'll have to be creative, and I'm sure that's, that's part of the plan. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if there's some... Probably a couple plays that uh, the Redbirds haven't run all year that we may see on, on Saturday. There's uh, uh, This is a defense just like the offense that is very, very solid, very fundamentally sound. Uh, they try to wear you down also. They try to out-physical you. Uh, Emmanuel is a tremendous player. Uh, they've got a couple safeties who are playing in the na national championship game for the third straight game, third straight year. So if these guys know what they're doing, and the Redbirds will need, will need to be creative and really use uh, their athletic uh, ability, which with, they might have a little bit of, of an edge there in athleticism with Roberson, Copperidge, uh, Neblett, and Meredith uh, as receivers. Yeah. As you kind of alluded to before, both teams have had about three full weeks off since their semifinal win, so it could be a little bit of a matter of which team is able to shake off the rust first. Uh, also, and while this is a neutral site game, ISU has gone on the road for their two last two wins, while the Bison haven't played away from the Fargo Dome, and nearly it's been since mid-November since they've gotten away from home. So uh, do you see either this long layoff or the site of the game being a possible factor in either way? Well, I think as long as the Redbirds don't uh, get in awe of their surroundings uh, and make uh, early mistakes, I think they'll be okay. Uh, there will be more North Dakota State fans in that building than Illinois State fans. That's just a fact. Uh, they make a lot of noise, and the Redbirds will have to deal with that. But they've done that quite well at New Hampshire, at Eastern Washington. Uh, they've played in the Uni Dome. So I, I, don't, I really don't think that's going to bother them. 
Great. Well, that's going to wrap up our video preview of uh, Saturday's championship showdown. Uh, Randy will have lead-up coverage to the uh, heading into the game all week in your Panagraph and here on Panagraph.com. The game kicks off at noon on Saturday. It's going to be televised on ESPN2. And Randy will be tweeting updates throughout the contest. You can follow him at capital P, lowercase g, underscore Reinhardt. And then be sure to pick up uh, Sunday's copy of the Panagraph for complete coverage as uh, Randy and sports editor Randy Kindred will file reports from Texas. Thanks for watching and enjoy the game.